Okay, well, uh, let us start the today lectures that we are going to speak regarding the Boolean algebra and the Morgan theorem. This uh, two part, even it's need uh, the math and also your discrete math teacher will describe for you, but we are using the result from this part. I mean that um, maybe we are not going to prove some of the rule in the algebra, uh, Boolean algebra uh, rules, but we just use the result of them. Okay, the proof is not in our subject, just we use the theorem and uh, last uh, part of each uh, algebra rule. First of all, uh, it's good to know that this uh, subject is developed by some mathematics that they call it cool. In 1850 and 1864, it was some English mathematics here. And uh, it's described an algebra of logic or an algebra of two values. You know that in uh, Boolean logics or this logic, we just have two parts. One is true, one is false. Okay, uh, maybe it's not bad that you know that after some years, some much more years, around uh, 40 years, uh, 35 years back, uh, scientists find that we can have one logic even between these true and false, that people call it fuzzy logic. But now what people know is that, and I mean, before uh, this fuzzy logic, people just think that we have two logic. One is that true, one is that false. Something 50-50 we don't have in that time. Uh, anyway, uh, the term logic means that a statement that having binary decision is true or false. And true, it means that yes or no means that we had something between yes and no, okay? Or in the sense that we have some voltage or we don't have any voltage. Um, if we want to talk regarding the application of the Boolean algebra, we can say that it's used to perform the logical operation in digital computer. And in a digital computer, we call the true value as the one, and we call the false value as the zero. Means that the true value or one value is something that we call it high volt and false that we uh, know it as the low volt or better things that I tell you or final things for that is that the high volts in our application or in our subject is nothing by five volt and low volts in nothing by the zero voltage. Logical uh, operation or perform uh, operators and the fundamentals uh, logical operators are uh, and, or, and not. As you remember last time, I just give you a very description about the logic game. We had something that we call it conjunction, something like multiplication that we have called and, and this, one, this function that we call it or negation or complement that we call it not. And the gates can come after combination of these three in the sense that we can call these three gates or these, key, these three operators as the mother or as the key operator in or fundamental operator of logical operation. But why we should have the Boolean algebra? When we learn the numbers, suppose something like one, two, three, uh, we also then learn the how to add, multiply, and et cetera with them. The Boolean algebra covers the operators that we can do with zero and one. Computers do these operation all the time, and they are basic building blocks of computation inside our computer. Some, there is some axioms and laws and theorems that we say we need to know some rules about this rule zero and one, which can be the operated uh, on together. And there are similar axioms to decimal numbers, algebra and 
these are some laws and theorems that are good for you to use and simplify your uh, operation. But how does Boolean algebra fit into the big pictures? Means that it's part of the combinational logic topic and uh, <clears throat> combinational logic topics or memory less and uh, different from the sequential logic topics with something that can store the information uh, learning uh, axioms and theorem of boolean algebra will allow us to design the logic function will allow us to know how to combine the different logic gates and uh, will help us to simplify and optimize the complex operation in the other sense uh, other word that these algebra rules that today we will review will help us for all the works that we want to do in digital subject. Okay, then uh, a Boolean algebra, Boolean algebra comprise a set of some elements that we can say, and binary operators, something like plus and dot, and Boolean sum and product, and on array, something like that, something like example of A naught and A. And we have some axioms, something like that. This set B contain at least two elements. We can show that A and B, like the bracket A and B, which A and B are not equal. We can have the rules, something like that, A plus B or A dot B. And we can have the rules like that, A plus B is equal to b plus a and a dot b is equal to b dot a we have the rule number five that we can call it a plus b plus c can be like that a plus b plus c and also for the multiplication or dot we can have a dot b dot c is equal to a dot b dot c um there is one more rule that they call it identity identity and we call it a plus zero is equal to a and a dot a one is one uh, we have the rule which is more important rule number six we call it distributive we call it a plus b dot c is equal to a plus b dot a plus c and a dot b plus c is equal to a dot b plus a dot c and another more important rule rule number seven is that a plus a dot a bar is equal to one and a dot a bar is equal to zero from this rule these seven rules that just right now i tell you rule number five six seven and somehow four also from number four to seven is more important this first and second and third one is not uh, much more difficult, but it's more applicable. We will use them much more. And rule number seven is something that will help us to uh, summarize, or in the other words, we can uh, optimize the design that we have. Don't forget this. As I tell you, I'm not going to give you the proof for these rules. This proof for this subject, especially for today's subject, it's something that your math teacher will teach you in the secret mathematics. But let us see how we can show these rules. Suppose we have the commutative, uh, commutative uh, law of addition that in that I say that A plus B is equal to B plus A. Okay. Then uh, let us see what will uh, uh, happen again. We can, um, if we show it on inside the gate part, we uh, can see that uh, it's become something like that. Just for two, three minutes, have a look for uh, this part because one of our uh, friends, I think, what number one will say? The number one will show the OR between A plus B. A plus B OR is equal to B plus A, okay? 
uh, you can see that if you want to show it in the form of the gate, it's equal, it's not difficult, okay. Rule number one, rule number two, that we call it commutative law. We say A dot B or A multiplied by B or is equal to B multiply A, okay? It's something like and, okay? Then you will see that just uh, place of the input gate is changed. Then it's proved for us. Another one is A plus B plus C. B plus C is OR. As you see here, we will have the B plus C. And another one is that again, we have OR, or we have addition uh, between uh, B plus C and another gate, another input, which is I, A. And this is again, OR that we have. You will see A plus B plus C. Uh, then we can also do like that. We can do the A plus B like this, which will be or with C. Hmm? Then it's become A plus B plus C. Okay. Let us uh, show the other uh, rules, something like associative laws of addition. That in that we said that A plus B plus C. We can show it like this. Then I can do first, means that A plus B and then plus C. Then A plus B is like this. And again, another plus is uh, one more OR gate, which become A plus B plus C, okay? Then the rule for the multiplication is something like that, that we want to do the A multiply B multiply C. B multiply C, it's one gate which is BC, and A multiplied by that, it's become A multiplied ABC. I can uh, break this and say A multiplied by C, which if we call it AB, and then again multiplied by the C like this, okay? Then some distributive laws, as I tell you, it's very important, distributive one. It's A multiplied, B plus C. B plus C is one OR gate that I have. And the other part is one AND gate, like this, okay? If I want to distribute it like that, it's become AB plus AC. AB is AND between them, and then I need one OR gate. Then if I want to make this statement, it need two AND gate and one OR gate that I have two AND gate here and one OR gate here. Um, again, I show uh, all rules now in these uh, pictures that you can review this uh, and have it. Sometimes even uh, you can write them or note down in your paper and when we will do the practice, especially for the practice that today or tomorrow I will upload on the web page, you can see. Just have a look for two minutes, one minute to this rule. What rule number one say that? Rule number one say that A plus zero is A. It's logic, something that we had in our routine map. A plus one is one. Maybe it's a little bit different, not little bit, more than little bit. But okay, this is something that maybe we didn't. A dot zero is zero, it's logic, no problem. A dot one is one, it's logic, okay. A plus A is A, okay, it's also okay, no problem. A plus A bar is one, it's little bit maybe new for you, okay. Another one, A dot A is one, A, mm, we can say that also. A dot A bar is zero, okay, as you see. And number nine is that A bar bar is equal to one. It means that if you take that two times complement of the number, it's become to the same thing. Uh, for number nine, we can have one, uh, suppose, uh, example is that 
uh, you assume suppose a is equal to zero first time if you complement it it's become one and second time when again you complement it it's become again number zero it means that if you do the complement for two three time then it's become the same number the number 10 if you see it's something like this that uh, if we do a plus a b it's equal to a this number 10 is very important what we can uh, or how we can remember this one something like that if you have the addition between two parts and the common part is the answer you will see the addition between a plus a b is the common part is a then the result is a you can memorize the number number 11 is also important we say that a plus a bar b it's equal to a plus b and number 12 is a plus b multiplied by a plus c it's equal to a plus b c then totally i can tell you four or five is maybe you confuse that two three times that you do the simplification with them you can memorize them well uh, remember this slide even i advise you to write the uh, some small piece of paper with, uh, with you and then compare with this slide when you will do the simplification of the uh, <clears throat> statement or task that I will give you. Okay, once more, let us see the rule that I tell you. Suppose the first rule was that a plus zero, and we say that it's equal to a. If I want to show you in the form of the gate, plus is equal to or. Okay, it means that a, if I assume a is one, and if I do the or between one and zero the result is one or whatever that was the a okay or if i assume the a again equal to zero zero or zero is zero it means that i have the same things when i add it with zero with no problem rule number two is that a plus one is equal to one. Let us see, is it exactly like that or not? That one plus one is one, okay? And if I assume the zero, zero again plus one is again one. Then this is again, okay. Rule number three, as I said that one, uh, zero, sorry. A dot zero is equal to zero. If I assume the A is to one, or between one and zero is always zero. And if I put the zero multiply by zero, again, it's zero. Okay. See, I show one table here. And we call it, even last lecture, I tell you, we call it true table. True table is the table that we are going to see the trueness of our, uh, our statement. Any things that we will do in this subject, it mix with this gate and this true table, okay? Uh, you can change the value. It's something like the table, as you see, A and B are our input value that we can change it and put it into the, our gate and then see the result. In the other way, this true table, we can call it all the possible condition, all the possible assumption that you can have in your uh, statement or in your logic. All the possible way that we have, we can test with true table. Okay, rule number four was that a dot one was equal to a. Let us test. I will put the a as uh, zero, and the second input is one, okay? Then zero multiplied by zero by one is one. And if I put is zero. And if I put a as one, one multiplied by one is one. It means that it depends just by the inputs a. Whatever is the value of a, result is a. Then this is also okay. 
Next one, a plus a is equal to a, okay? It means that I have the or between a and a, and I want to check zero and zero, if I assume the a is zero, result is zero. One and one, if I assume the uh, result, uh, it again depends on a. Another way, um, a plus a bar, okay? A plus is or, okay? It means that. Whatever I will assume the a, a bar is complement of that. Hmm? Now, let us do. A or a bar. A is suppose I assume with zero, then a bar is one. Or between zero and one is one. Next. A, I will assume as zero, and then A bar is zero, okay? Then A plus A bar is equal to one. Rule number seven. That is A dot A, we expected that it's become to A, okay? Again, A dot is and, okay? Then A is zero, if I assume A is zero, zero and zero is zero. If I assume it one, one and one is one, then it's exactly the value of A. Okay, continue for rule number eight. A dot A bar means that I need the and between my A input and complement of my input, A input. Okay. My value a if i assume it assume it as a then the complement as one the complement of that it becomes zero then simply a and a bar you will see that in all the kids it's become then the rule is proof another one if you take the two times complements of input you will reach the same okay let us see it means that two times i will put it and not not for that okay i assume the a as zero. First time i will mm, not it it's become one second one again it's become zero then it's exactly have the same value of input okay if i assume the a as one then again i uh, two times i put the complements you will see that Again, I will reach the same thing. Somehow, say that if you put two not, it's something like circuit. You will get the same point. Look for number it's A plus A B. Okay, the first two is and. And this one is or. It means that should have the and it be, sorry, or between A and B and should be or with A. Okay, that's the result. How many inputs have two? Okay, condition I can have, I can have four conditions. Zero, 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 one, one, two. How I will do it with this? Two bits, then the value. First value is zero. Second value is one. Third value is three. Okay? Because I have two bits. Uh, okay. And once more i will tell you maybe there is some problem with the audio rules number 10 uh, rules number 10 it's something like that a plus a b which equal to a this is something that we are searching for that first we will start with the true table i have two bit then i can show between zero or three and then we can continue now okay with the number zero one two and three 
Then, first thing is that I should calculate the OR between A and B. OR between A and B is like that. Zero uh, and A and B is zero. Zero and one is zero. One and zero is zero. One and one in one. Okay. And next part is that I should OR it with A. Okay. Then, or between zero and zero is zero, or between zero and zero is again zero, or between zero and one is one, or between one and one is one. Okay, now you tell me, this output, it's similar to which one? It's exactly similar to A, okay? Let us see the next one, the rule number 11. Uh, can you note it with your paper now? Just try to test with me. Try. First, you draw the true table and write the possible condition for that. Means that possible condition between zero, one, two, three. Can you calculate it? Please don't see the. PowerPoint, I will give you one minute, two minutes to do it. And then do it. First, you should calculate the A bar B. And between that, and then or it with A. Okay. Do that, please. A bar B is something like that. You should do the complement first for the A. Complement of A is like this, one, one, Zero, zero. Now I should end it. One and B, one and one, zero and zero, zero, one and zero. Then just I have one here. Okay. This is A bar B. After that, I should or it with A. Hmm? Or it with A. Zero or zero. One or zero, one or one, zero or one, then the result is like this. Okay, this is one part. Okay, now what the rule said that rule said that the answer should be A plus B. Okay, if answer is A plus B, I just should use the OR between A and B, okay? A plus B. Zero or zero is zero. Zero or one is one. One or zero is one. One or one is also one. You will see here, okay? And you will see that the output between the first part means that this equation, and this one, the output of both equation are same. Hmm? I also can show it simply with uh, eight, as you will see here. I implement the uh, both part, this part and this part with the gate, and you will see that very simple it, it can help us the rule number 11 demonstration in the uh, logic gate can help us when we want to simplify the gate you know okay continue rule number 12 now you calculate a plus b and a plus c we expected that it's become a plus B plus C. Hmm? This is something that we expected. As we have three output here, A, B, and C, then we can have between zero to seven. We'll see zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, a finally number seven. I drive it, I drive it with this value, one, two, four. 
and then you can calculate. You will see that the decimal number for these three bits, it's become like that. Then I will cook A plus B. You will see the result. A plus C, you will see the result. A plus B and Z, A plus C. This is the result. And then this is the first part. Second part is that we expected that it's become to A plus BC. Then I should calculate the BC and then add it with this. Okay, the result will show that these two parts are equal again together. Okay, uh, this is something, rule number 12. It's uh, one part that I want that you test it. Uh, even Hold the PPT, today PPT, please, you do it yourself, again, to understand it better. But 12, uh, rule number 12 is important. Try to show it with the gate, as well as uh, simplify. Means that drive the uh, logic that we say. Okay, rule number 12. Okay, digital or binary logic is the Boolean algebra, as we tell you, and we have something like AND that we had, we will show it with dot, or we will show it with one a plus. Not we will show sometimes with this, sometimes we will show it with the bar, okay, and we call it, okay, as I show here. In mathematics, we show this and like this, or we will show like this, and complement we will show like this. Okay, but mainly we will uh, do our operation based on this. Both of them are not much more uh, different between them. And Boolean function, as we show, that can maps the input the set between zero, zero, one. And this expression is the statement of Boolean variable and operation that we saw. Um, okay, we talked last time regarding the gates, but again, we will do very fast uh, about these two day lectures, little bit we talk. Again, we will talk for these gates because the key for our uh, digital subject is this gate, and all our design is based on the gate that I show you here. First gate is AND, okay? X dot Y or X, Y, no problem. Symbol is like that. True table is also like that. Next one is OR, X uh, plus Y. That symbol is like that, and true table. And NOT is also something that we had this in the previous lecture. Okay. Now we want to say that any logic function that expressible as the true table can be written in Boolean algebra in AND and OR. Okay. Suppose if I want to see the AND between X and Y, I can show it like that. And X dot Y also I can show. Okay. Then if I want to show the X dot Y plus X bar dot Y bar and show you the expression of Z, take the true table between. But how I should label is that first you should look how many inputs you have. Then based on the inputs, you will first set the input section. This is my truth table, and then by the by the, the things that you need in your statement, you can complete. You will see that the expression that I x dot y plus x bar dot y bar. Okay, what I need here, I need the inputs of x, x input of y, x bar, y bar, and then do or 
and and okay then what i need that i need x and y x and y how i will do this is two bit then i can start from zero one two three i can show it zero 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 one one zero and one one okay then what is x bar whatever x value that i have i can show it in i should show it in the form of x bar whatever zero become one whatever one become zero another one x y bar is x bar uh, y bar uh, zero not one. One, one one is zero okay next the two and and Kelly and between x and y okay we'll see that okay or dot y bar it's you will see here one and one is one and this is the, then i'm going to do the or between these two bars. see that this condition that i have one and zero it's one and one and zero which i have again it's equal to one this is also not bad too again you calculate them i mean the slide uh, for x dot war plus x bar y bar I, I will give you more task today regarding this part then you will test and see one more uh nice rule that we have in algebra or boolean algebra is like that a bar dot b plus c can be converted to the a bar b plus c then the variable and complements uh, are sometimes we call it uh, literals and we show it like that um, inside this boolean logic there is one theorem that uh, made by a person that we call it the morgan okay what is this the Morgan theorem said that it's a procedure for complementing the Boolean function. And with that, we can replace the dot and plus, plus and dot, zero and one, and one and zero, and replace all the variable with their complements. Okay. And this is not uh, much more new. This again, the uh the rule that we have about the boolean is not new but again i put it here for you to review they say and these are the same parts but let us see some uh example here as you will see suppose if we want to see that x dot bar plus x dot y bar it's equal to x how we can do x dot plus x equal to x x dot y plus x dot y bar okay i can take one x out of the as the algebra rule one plus y is equal to one and then x dot one is equal to x these two examples it's based on the algebraic way we can show two times two types one is that with the gate that we learn one is that based on the algebraic rule okay we want to prove of x y plus y z plus x bar z we want to start to write how we should start from this part or how we can have the proof it's very simple it's very simple um first find the common part between them you will see that in the second uh, part i mean here something is common one is z 
Okay. And maybe between these two, y is common. Then let us work with this. I mean, for the first part, I can do uh, uh, in, in two ways, even I can solve this problem. I can add x plus x bar and then multiply by yz because x plus x bar is equal to 1. Okay. And then I can distribute the x between them. Okay. And um, then with the rule of uh, distribution of that, I can see the result of that. This is one way. Another way is that I can take out one z from this, then the output is y x or x y plus one. And then I will see that x one uh, plus one is equal to x one and x prime z will be remain as the output. Two way I can have the proof for this. Review this example. I mean, example number three, we should talk and give you more example regarding this algebra part. Okay, I tell you that in this, uh, uh, what we can say, Boolean algebra, we have, we have the new, we, we have the theorem that we call it the Morgan theorem. Before that, I will make uh, your uh, microphone on to see that is there any problem from you till now? Is it okay till now? Okay. The Morgan rules, uh, as already we discussed, is one of the rules that built between the Boolean logics. And by its uh, nice simplification that we can do based on that, it's more famous and more useful for uh, using in digital systems and great simplification part. Uh, this is Mr. De Morgan that he uh, born in India in 1906, and uh, he learned uh, mathematics and do the great job in that. I put this, then you can read <laughs> this little bit history part uh, regarding him. De Morgan rules. As we tell you in that, we can change the plus into dot and dot into plus with this. And also, we can break the bar, okay? Maybe let me first tell you that the Morgan rules is this, is two rules, okay? What we will do, we will split the input, means that if I have the big bar between all my sentence, I can split the bar between my elements and then when i break the bars i should change the sign means that plus i will go to the dot and same if i uh, have the big bar between a dot b i can break the bar and change the sign maybe people even when they teach me they tell me that my teachers also say like that break the bar, change the sign. You can remember the De Morgan rules like this. This is two additional simplification techniques that can be used to simplify the Boolean expression. And again, the simplifier uh, or simpler the Boolean expression. The simpler the result logics will happen by using the De Morgan rules. Then don't forget, break the bar, change the sign, okay? Um this also is same as previous things that I tell you. If I have x, uh, y bar, I can break the bar, change the sign. Or if I have x plus y also, it can be break the bar, change the sign, as I show you here. Okay. This is the main things that we should know. and we will see the result of that okay how we can show the the morgan theorem with the help of the gate as you know if i have the x uh, y bar it's equal to x naught uh, y naught and then i will do the or between them okay it can be like that 
okay and if i have the x one x uh, plus y uh, bar i can again break the bar and change the sign i can show it like that then uh, simplification will happen with the help of the gate uh, maybe we can show it better means that some proof for that it can be like this if i have a and B, and first I want to see that A dot B, what will happen? In the simple and between A and B, we'll see that if my input is zero and zero, the output is zero. Zero and one is one. One and zero is zero. One and one is one, okay? And A dot B not means that not of whatever I will calculate here. One, zero can be one. Zero can be one, zero can be one, one can be zero, okay? This is one side. Let us see. My rule say that A bar B, A B bar, means that this one is equal to A naught, B naught, or let us calculate. If this is my A and B, I will calculate the A bar means that whatever zero that I have, it's become one, and whatever one I have, it's become two, zero. Same for the B. Then after that, I should calculate the A bar plus B bar. A bar is one, B bar is like that. A bar plus B bar is one. A bar plus B bar is one again. A bar plus B bar is one, and this is zero. Then now you compare, these two are same or no? Then this is the proof for De Morgan theorem. Theorem number two was that A plus B bar, we want to show that it's equal to A bar dot B. Okay, let us do the same. First, we should calculate the A plus B, which we can calculate it by this. And then we should take the not for that. It means that whatever we calculate here, we should complement. Okay, we'll complete it, zero to one, one to zero, one to zero, one to zero, okay. Next part is that I should calculate the A bar, I should calculate the B bar, and then do the AND between them, okay. A bar is one, as you will see, the complement of whatever value that I have into the A. B bar is again like this, whatever complement of value that I have here. Then A bar, B bar, and we'll see. One and one is one. And then in the other case, because we have zero, it's become zero. Now you compare. The output is same. Okay. Then we can show the, the Morgan theorem in the form of the gate as well as in the form of the true table. Okay. This is all the rules or all the rules that we need in uh, Boolean and the Morgan theory, I will advise you to note down all these theorem in piece of paper, have them, means that the slides are number 31. Even I will try to copy paste it for you and put it in front of the uh, task number six that today I will try, or maximum tomorrow you will have that task number six, slide number 31, I will put it there. These rules will help you to simplify the sentence. Please don't forget, you should memorize them, okay? It's not difficult to memorize. Even it will help you for uh, math subject, because in your math subject also, this degree math, I mean, your teacher should teach you with the proof these things. Once more, see the, the Morgan part, then what it said that, it said that break the bar, change the sign, as you will see. So break the line and then sign, we check this, we describe it before. And also, uh, the, these slides also, we discuss, uh, um, and also we can check with the help of the true table. Okay, let us see and do one more example with the logic uh, simplification, and then finish today 
lecture. Suppose I have this sentence, A bar B C plus A bar B bar C bar plus A bar B bar C plus A B C bar plus A B C. How I should do the simplification? First, you will see here what we have. We have the some common part here. A dot A B bar. Okay, I can separate this and have this sentence. And also from second part, A B is also common. Then we can. Then C plus C bar. I know that it's equal to one. It's equal to one. Then my second part is that A B bar plus A B. If I drive the A separate the a from that we have the b bar plus b which again i know that this part is equal to one then from first part i have a then again by the theorem of the boolean rules i know that i have a plus bc okay and this is simplification of the example if you want to learn this you should much more see the this summary part means that remember these rules as well as you can only tell practice we will also give you some task and you will learn it uh, i think much more better for that okay uh, i think for today lecture i think for today lecture uh may have some example as well as continuing with sop and pos which is more important for us